me, Gail Angus, the Careers Manager for the Adam Smith Business School. And me, Anne Duff, the Careers Manager for the College of Arts. So today, Anne, we're going to be tackling a question that we get asked quite a lot by students. Mm. Should you work for a big company or should you work for a small company? Mm. And what are the differences and benefits of each of those? Yeah. So on campus, students are probably quite familiar with mm. coming into contact with large firms, big graduate recruiters. Um, so are aware that bigger firms are perhaps interested in graduates. But I have had students come and ask me and say, you know, I'm not sure that I want to work for a big firm. But are there benefits of working for a large firm over a small firm? And, you know, is one better than the other? I think the first thing I will comment on that, Gail, is that um, just because you don't see SMEs on campus doing a recruitment drive, it's not to say that they're not interested in you because they really, really are. The reason you don't see them on campus is because they maybe don't have the time, the budget to commit to a recruitment drive the way a big corporate organisation does. So that said, let's go back to the question, what's better? It's down to you. It's down to you. <laughs> it really, really is. The things I would say to consider whenever you're thinking about the kind of organisation to, to gravitate towards or move into is think about yourself, your values, because quite often the values that you have will align themselves with a particular organisation and that could be a big organisation um, or it could be a small one. So really sort of think hard about, well, what is it that I want to get out of my work in life? Is it about a work-life balance? Is it about being able to work from home? Is it about being able to progress quickly? Is it about working in the kind of role with the scope that you want to do? So think about mm -hmm. what are your values around it mm -hmm. and then that will help you identify the kind of organisation that aligns itself with your values. The other thing that you do want to think about, uh, alluded to it there, is the scope. Mm -hmm. So the scope of the role. So some, sometimes when you look at the corporate organisations and the graduate schemes, you know, they can be quite tight. They can be mm -hmm. um, you know, very structured. So you come in, this is what you do and that's what you progress in. Um, and perhaps with a smaller organisation, a startup company, for example, you might have the opportunity to, to try a few more different things and kind of be broader. So think about the scope of the role that you're applying to. Mm. It's, and again, it's not a given. I mean, I'm saying, you know, <laughs> corporate might be tighter, SME might be, you know, um, broader. But that's not actually not a given. So it's very, very important to look at the job role mm -hmm. as opposed to always the particular company that that job role sits within and that's um one of the things that i would actually kind of want to point out is that actually just looking at an organization by size is perhaps not the best um route so um not all organizations are created equal and two large firms um might not actually be very similar at all so you might actually looking at two very large graduate recruiters and you might really enjoy working for one but not actually enjoy working for the mm -hmm. other one um, so it is really considering those things that Anne just said about your values, the sorts of scope of the role, and really taking a step back and thinking about what is important to me within an organisation. Um, so if you consider things like um, large firms versus small firms, um, we may think about some of those things, like for example, historically you might think, well, large firms have more structured graduate recruitment programmes, uh, smaller firms perhaps don't have a structured graduate recruitment programmes and maybe you prefer the structure. Um, but um, there are some smaller firms who do offer structured training and structured mm -hmm, programmes mm -hmm. as well. The other thing that I would consider is actually um, that, as I was saying, that not all large firms are the same, not all small firms are the same. And actually the rate of growth as well. So some small firms, like for example, um, in the tech industry, are growing quite rapidly too. So you might actually start working um, as a new graduate in a small firm and they, you might actually get in there just as they're actually growing and be able to be a part of that really exciting growth and they actually then become a larger um, organisation too. So don't necessarily focus just in on should it be a large firm or should it be a small firm. Think about what is actually right for you. Mm. And I guess the question that might then sort of come from that statement is, well, how, how do I find out this information? How do I find out their values? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can reach out to the organisation. You look at their website, right, OK, that's quite obvious. You can reach out to the organisation via the network or via LinkedIn, especially for SMEs. LinkedIn is a really strong tool to reach out with people working within um, a small, a, a small organisation because SMEs will really use that. Um, the, the benefit to reaching out to somebody and kind of asking a few questions is that you'll get that kind of information that you want. And don't ever feel like you're ever, ever, ever crossing boundaries because people love to talk about their job. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely do that. 
The other way that you can, if we're thinking about this, aligning yourself with the values, the tone, the nature, the type of organisation that fits with you and your life expectations, is follow them in their social media. Because mm -hmm. if you look at an organisation's website, you'll get a very corporate tone, like the way they want to present themselves to their clients or their users. If you look at their social media, you'll tend to get a more informal um, tone, which reflects their values, their mm -hmm. personality a little bit more clearly. Mm -hmm. And uh, the final thing that I guess um, I wanted to come on to is, again, students have asked me in the past, um, does a large firm or a small firm look better on my CV and would it look better um, if in future if I'm actually kind of having a large, big, famous name on my CV mm. rather than a small sort of unknown company? And again, um, I would go back to saying it really depends <laughs> um, because you could work for a big, famous, awesome firm and actually not do a lot within that role and you might find actually that you don't have a lot to put on your CV or explain to an ex-employer or you could work for that big famous amazing firm and do some great things and actually have amazing things to put on your CV so actually just the size of the firm again um, isn't as important as actually what you're doing with that experience so if you go into uh, working for a small company again you might be there um, at the ground floor of um, when they're actually kind of breaking through with new innovations and actually growing quite drastically and you might actually uh, have amazing things to put in your CV about mm. you help that company mm -hmm. in, in their growth stage too. Um, so it is really down to what you do with that experience yeah. and actually you making the most of that uh, first job and then how you go on and articulate that and sell that to the next employer which again you can look at some of our um, resources on videos, on interviews, on applications to help you to think about how you can actually target all of your experiences and how you can tailor that to employers. So I think the summing up point from today is what I would say is that if you really are considering is a large firm or a small firm good for you, I wouldn't necessarily just focus on the size. I would yeah. think about what is the right type of company for you based on um, your interests, your values, your sorts of training needs, um, everything is the whole package as well. Look at, look at uh, what your individual needs are and how they kind of more fit with the type of organisation that you want to work for as well. And one final word for me on how to uh, uncover this information is um, to connect with employers on campus. Mm -hmm. um, so certainly you'll be able to have a face-to-face -face conversation with a lot of the corporate employers and mm -hmm. that'll give you a really good insight into mm -hmm. that sector of employment at least. Yep, and if you're an uh, early year student, um, then you can actually also reach out to the internship hub. We um, advertise a lot of internships with uh, small to medium enterprises, so you can get some experience working with an SME and actually see if that is mm -hmm. sort of the right, um, the right place for you to work. So thanks again for joining Anne and I today on Coffee and Careers and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we hope to see you again next time. Good luck.